right now at 11. Look at your TV screen. A man is being wanted for what he did. And remembering Chris Minners. My sister Jasmine Payute says she spoke with a friend about the South Street mass shooting and why was he running. As families beg lawmakers for a change, anything could happen right there. We start with the search for a fourth suspect wanted in connection to the mass shooting on Saturday. Good Tuesday evening, everyone. My name is William, and today is June 7th, 2022. Thanks for joining us here tonight. This 11 p.m. broadcast is now streaming on CBS News, Philly. We're being told that two suspects are already in custody. Mayor Jim Kenney and Danielle Outlaw visit business owners on South Street by addressing safety concerns. This comes as friends and family honor one of the victims. Our live team coverage begins tonight with Alicia Roberts, who happens to be my aunt. Go ahead and take it away with your report. Deadly South Street melee that left an innocent man and woman along with another gunman dead and injured at least 12 others. The suspect is described as a male in his late teens, seen wearing a COVID-style mask and black hooded shirt with distinctive markings. Video shows him walking into a convenience store and standing near 3rd Street about 20 minutes before the gunfire began. Police say he was on with a 40 caliber handgun. Two suspects have already been taken into custody. CBS3 cameras were there Monday night as U.S. Marshals arrested 34-year-old Rashawn Vereen outside his West Passion home. Police say Vereen is the man in the denim jacket who started a fight with Micah Towns, seen wearing a black shirt, and Craig Jackson, the man in the white t-shirt. Police say Jackson shot Towns, who remains in the hospital in serious condition. Jackson died in the exchange. Both men were licensed to carry. He carries to protect the self. I don't blame him. See what happened? Towns next door neighbor saw the 23-year-old college student as he was leaving to head out that night to celebrate his birthday. They called me home. He said, oh, God, have a good time. I said, all right. And when he did us, when I didn't see him that morning, because we usually out here in the morning, relaxing and having a good time in the morning, I knew it was him. Now he's praying for his friend and an end to the violence. I don't believe in the city of love because they out here killing each other every single day. Take a look at your screen one more time. Anyone with information about where this suspect may be is asked to call police. There's a $30,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. Let's hope $30,000 will definitely come in handy soon. Thank you for your report there, Alicia. A residential advertiser for Gerard College was one of the two bystanders in Saturday's mass shooting. That's where family and friends gathered tonight to remember Christopher Minners. We're being told that he was only 22 years old when he passed away. Jasmine Payute, my sister, has the latest. Everyone hates Chris. Everyone loves 